And the numbers are just coming in for last week, and we're seeing jobless claims at 730,000. That's a decrease of 111,000 from the previous week. However, However, the, the big caveat with these numbers is the storms that rolled through the South last week. Who was going out to file jobless claims in Texas or Mississippi or places like that? So I wouldn't make too much of this drop in the number, and I'm sure that uh, most economists would tell you the same thing. This is not necessarily real. Uh, 711,000 is the number that uh, we get. Continuing claims, uh, 441, uh, 4,419,000. That's down from 4,494. So uh, a a little bit better news uh, in terms of the overall numbers and the continuing claims number comes from the week that they do the job survey. So that'll <laughs> add a little bit to people's uh, uh, optimism about uh, uh, the possibility of improvement. Uh, durable goods orders come in way higher than exactly. anticipated. 3.4 percent up uh, on the uh, month for this is for January, and uh, the ex transportation number up 1.4 percent. That's double what was forecast. So we're seeing some good news in business spending that has not changed. Capital goods orders. Non-defense X aircraft, which is the one we all like to look at because it tells us something about business spending. And that's up half a percent, which is lower than the forecast for eight tenths, and it's lower than the one and a half percent revised number for the month of December. The uh, initial number was 0 0.7 percent. So uh, big changes in durable goods orders driven in large part right. by aircraft, it looks like, uh, at this point. You're going to take moving averages on all this stuff. I mean, I know that's what we do, but Michael McKee, as a general statement looking at the bundle of economic data, can you signal what Gina Martin Adams talks about, which is a better American economy. Slightly. I mean, you can't say it's hugely better. Uh, we have seen strength in business spending. Uh, the numbers in terms of the uh, durable goods headline number seems to be very much based on transportation equipment. Uh, car sale, car vehicle uh, manufacturing and orders down on the month by eight tenth because uh, we've seen shortages of chips. So do we see a major change in the manufacturing outlook? Uh, hard to say at this point if we're going to start to see uh, shutdowns of factories because we can't get the parts. Uh, Non-defense aircraft and parts, by the way, uh, new orders were up 389.9%. That's Boeing. And well, so anytime they get a, a shift in the number of orders and it doesn't line up their orders exactly with the durable goods numbers, but it has a huge outsize effect on the, number, on the durable goods orders. Mike, to Tom's point here, if you look at the trajectory, there are some really encouraging numbers here. I mean, actually, this is a huge surprise across the board. And I understand about the potential disturbance with respect to the storms. But if you look at continuing claims, they dropped from a revised, upwardly revised 4.5 million to a, to a lower than expected 4.41 million uh, people who are still on those unemployment rolls. The question here is the pace of the improvement. Are people getting jobs? Does this indicate that? Or is it just too messy to make any conclusion at all? Well, of course, these numbers are not people getting jobs. These numbers are people who are no longer losing jobs. These are, when we look at the headline number, of course, it's initial jobless claims. Uh, the continuing claims numbers is good news, and we have been seeing a decline. But it isn't so rapid that you're going to say we're going to be out of the woods immediately here. It's still, uh, it's still an issue. And, of course, um, we get the numbers wrapped into the continuing claims in the four-week average. So this number next week is going to fold into that and really push down the continuing claims yeah. number. So it's kind of hard to get a, a true reading on where we are, other than to say there's still a lot of people, Jay Powell's not wrong, still a lot of people out of work without jobs. Uh, but again, uh, at uh, 730,000, a decline of 111,000, you got to we'll write that it. off to storms. Yeah, take it, but uh, it's, not, uh, it's not the biggest news okay. in the world. One quick thing, John, please, please. Tom, uh, we got the second read of GDP for the uh, fourth quarter, 4.1%. That's up yeah. from 4%, uh, and that is pretty much as expected. Michael, That's okay. old news.